Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Terraria 1.4 Mobile Master Mode Let's Play. I started off the episode by farming for some spider fangs because I want to make the spider staff. It's going to be an upgrade um, from our imp staff. So let's go make it spider staff. There we go. So now we have spiders instead of imps. Alright, so we can retire the imp staff. It's been nice. Okay, so, in this episode, we have some big plans. Today, we're going to defeat the Queen Slime. That is right. Um, she is a new 1.4 boss, so I don't have any experience fighting her. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. It might take one try, it might take multiple tries, but I'm pretty excited. So, as you can see, I built an arena right here. And I think it's big enough. She just We just have to summon her in the hollowed. We don't actually have to fight her in the hollowed, but, you know, I'm going to fight her in the hollowed just because, you know, why not? And as you saw, we have rainbow bricks now because we killed the rainbow slime off camera. And speaking of off camera, I did a little bit of fishing because, remember, we still want the enchanted sword, so I'm still fishing up for some titanium crates. So let's go open our titanium crates. And, of course, no enchanted sword. But we also got divine crates, which is new. And I'm not sure if there's anything special that comes out of it, but it's alright. And now we have our, like, other crates to open. Nice. So, I actually want to farm out for one more weapon before I do the queen slime fight. I want to farm out for the Uzi. It's a pretty good early hard mode weapon, to be honest. It, like, it's, like, slightly worse than the Mega Shark. But it's still really good. So I'm going to go to the jungle. I'm going to see if I can get it. I'm going to farm it out for a bit. And yeah. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you all something. So last episode, a meteorite landed in our world. And I didn't know where it landed. So I went down this hole. And it turns out the meteorite landed in this tube block wide hole which is which is so weird to think about like <laughs> what are the chances of that i don't know but <laughs> yeah let's just yeah we're, we're farming out for the uzi it's a one percent drop chance from man eaters or something not man eaters it's like a hard mode variant of man eaters like i forgot their name but yeah it might take a while Uh, I think we just killed a moth. That's like a rare enemy in the jungle. <laughs> okay, it's nice. I'm gonna see if it dropped anything interesting. Uh, nothing. Alright. Whoa! 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 We have a jungle key! No way! What are the chances of that? We got a jungle key- Oh my god, I can't even- Oh, I'm messing up my words. We got a jungle key before we got an Uzi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our luck is- Wow, okay. Wow, these spiders do a lot of work. They are very, very helpful. I'm glad I got them. Um. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, they are very helpful. <laughs> and, yeah, so in terms of our progress for our angry trapper hunting, we only got a kite from one of them. And, yeah, that's about it. So, hey, if we don't get the Uzi, at least we got a kite out of it. Oh yeah, and we also want to farm for turtle shells too, because eventually we're going to make beetle armor, and that requires turtle shells. Hey, another turtle shell. Nice, I think we should get four turtle shells to make both variants of the beetle armor. 
Hey, hey, a third turtle shell. Now we only need one more. Hey, hey, we have all four turtle shells now. So now we don't need to farm out for turtle shells anymore. Yes! Okay, finally. That took so long. We had to kill so many angry trappers for that. But we finally got it. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go do some reforging. Oh man, that took a long time. I, I was here for a while. But we can finally reforge it. It's 17 gold, which is quite a lot. Demonic, sure. And let's also reforge our spider staff. And... Oh, it's pretty cheap, actually, to reforge it. So let's just get um, Demonic 2. Sure. <gasps> hey, there we go. We have a new weapon, the Nimbus Rod. That's going to be really helpful with the Destroyer. Okay, nice. So I'm just preparing for our Queen Slime fight. I've got my buff potions, and I've also collected two more gelatin crystals off-camera, so we have three chances. Okay, so I'm at my arena, and I'm not sure how this fight is going to go. Um, I've never fought Queen Slime before, so it's going to be completely new to me, but, you know, might as well give it a try. Let's summon her. Let's buff. And where is she? Uh, there she is. Okay. So, we're going to use our Uzi. And we're going to keep our distance. So far, it's not too bad, but I heard in the second phase is where it gets hard. And, oh. We have to watch out for the minions, though, but I think my spider staff will do the work or take care of the minions for me. All right, it's not too bad so far. Let's try to lure her into our clouds. Oh, okay. And our titanium armor is holding off the minions pretty well too. All right. Oh. Okay, 100 damage. That's, that's quite a lot of damage, not gonna lie. Alright. Where is she? Oh, this is her second phase. She's flying now. Um. Okay. I'm not doing too bad so far. Oh, okay. Let's take a health potion. Oh, no. Alright. Come on. We can do this. Ooh, okay. Very close. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. Let's try that again. We were uh, we, we are always so close to defeating her. All right, we're back for another try. Let's hope we can do it this time. Uh, we got our spider summon. Let's put some clouds and summon her again. Let's buff and let's do this. Oh, she's right there. Okay. Let's try and stay near the clouds this time. Okay, so she is in her second phase right now, which is the hard phase. Okay. Have to be really careful. Ah. Uh. All right, so let's try this one more time. This time we have a life force potion, so that should make it easier. 
let's go do this full concentration mode two clouds let's do it Okay, so I'm trying a new strategy where I just fly away because her minions were the ones that are damaging me a lot. So let's see if it works. We've got her down to pretty low health. Ooh, okay. We're doing pretty good so far. Oh, she's getting pretty aggressive. Let's go take a health potion. And I think this is the one. We're gonna do it this time. There we go. <laughs> um, I'm noticing a theme in our series where whenever we fight a boss, we get it down to really low health, but then we die. This has happened with the first time we fought the Eye of Cthulhu, the Wall of Flesh, and now Queen Slime. We almost defeated Queen Slime the first time, but you know, we died very last minute. So, but now we did it. Pretty exciting. Let's open her treasure bag. And we've got her hard mode accessory, the volatile gelatin. Um, is this any good? I'm not really sure. And we've got two sets of the crystal assassin armor, which I'm not really going to use. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. And we also got some sparkle slime balloon filled with party girl bath water. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of wanted her mount. Uh, that was a pretty useful mount, but, you know, not a deal breaker. So there we go. Oh man, we really need uh, a relic room. Because I don't know where to put these relics. <laughs> we can build that later in the series, but... Let's just put it, like, here for now. Okay, so right now I'm in the process of collecting Souls of Night because... I also want to fight the Destroyer in this episode. As you know, we fought the Eye of Cthulhu and King Slime in one episode, the first two bosses. So I kind of want to continue that theme by fighting the first two hard mode bosses in one episode. So we're going to fight Queen Slime and a mechanical boss, which I chose the Destroyer to fight because I think the Destroyer is the easiest, if I can remember. I haven't fought the Destroyer in a while, I'm going to be honest, but you know, we're going to do it anyway. Hey, vitamins. Yeah. Um, another goal, I guess, is to get the Ankh Shield eventually. And right now we have the Trifold Map, the vitamins, and probably some others in my accessories chest. So, yeah, let's, let's try and aim for that, too. Oh, an Icicle. I have not used this weapon before. Alright, it's interesting. Too bad I'm not playing as a melee character though. Okay, so I think I'm ready for this fight. I've got all my buff potions and I'll be using Jester's arrows because they pierce. And I also did a little bit of reforging, so now I have a Lucky Ranger emblem. And I also made a Charm of Myths because I think that'll be more useful than the Star Veil. For this fight. Alright, so I looked up a video on like how to defeat the destroyer and one good tip is that I should aim for the spawn area like where the segments are like jumbled together so it'll do like a lot of damage then. So that's a really good tip. Um, sorry if I explained it really poorly but you know you'll see what I'm gonna be doing so Let's go spawn in some clouds and let's do this fight. All right, so let's buff and let's do it. So yeah, the segment here, right here. There we go, it did a lot of damage so far. So now we just have to focus on the probes.
All right. All right, so this fight is going pretty well. Did a lot of damage so far. Ooh, that was a close one. All right. Got to watch out. And let's take another buff potion. And come on. I'm very nervous right now, if you can't tell. Oh no, there's so many lasers. Oh, it's okay. Let's summon some more clouds. And... Come on. Yes! Yes, there we go! Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous right now if you can't tell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was... That was very intense. Sorry if I was like silent for a lot of that fight. <laughs> oh man, I was really focused because I didn't want to like die right when it like has like 20 health left. Cause you know, that's happened a lot with this series. Oh, it even happened today with the Queen Slime, but there we go. Now we should expect the Steampunker to come move in. All right, so we got the mechanical wagon piece and we also got the mask and 34 hollowed bars, which is pretty nice. Okay, so let's put the Destroyer Relic next to the Queen Slime Relic. Overall, I would say that the Destroyer is a harder boss. Um, even though Queen Slime took more tries, it's just because I've never fought her before, so I didn't really know her attack patterns. So yeah, that's my conclusion. <laughs> Alright, so with the Souls of Might we got, we can make the Mega Shark, which is an upgrade to our Uzi. So, let's go get the materials for it. Shark fins, illegal gun parts, and a mini shark. Alright. Finally, okay. So we can make the mega shark now. And there we go. It's replacing our Uzi. It's been nice, even though I had it for less than an episode. It was pretty nice fighting Queen Slime with it. But now we have the Mega Shark, which is an upgrade, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Should be an upgrade because we get it after or later in progression. Unreal, there we go. Okay, so I was just reforging my Mega Shark and. Oh man. Oh, sorry, um, I wasn't recording this, but the Traveling Merchant came again, and guess what he's selling? <laughs> again, the Orange Zappinator. I don't know what, I don't know why this series gives us so many Zappinators, but, I mean, I'm not complaining, but I do want this mysterious cape, though. It is very mysterious, so let's put it on. Oh, we can't even see it with the wings. Do we have to... Oh, it's because the tackle box. Alright, let's... There... Do we have to just remove the tackle box? What, why isn't it showing? <laughs> huh, that's, that's really mysterious. <laughs> I guess that's why they call it that. Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this episode is to build a mushroom town. Number one, because I want the mushroom pylon. Number two, because I want the mushroom NPC. And number three, because our world has a housing shortage. Look, a lot of our NPCs are living on like floating islands and everything. So we need to build more houses. And yeah, let's go do that. Let's do a time lapse. And. I'll catch you guys when I am finished.
so I just looked this up and apparently you need to build your own surface mushroom biome for the truffle NPC to come in. So I messed up. I basically built this for nothing. <laughs> but it's fine, I guess, because at least we have some houses now. But I will have to rebuild a new mushroom biome. And yeah, so I guess this will just be a temporary town for now. But let's just buy the pylon anyway. So, there we go. It's pretty nice. Okay, so, I'm going to end the episode there. It was a very successful one. We tried out the new 1.4 boss, the Queen Slime, and we also defeated the Destroyer too. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and consider subscribing. But for now, I will see you all next time. Bye!